Hi. Yes, this is Theo calling. Um, are you guys are you guys delivering mail today? Well, I just didn't know because today is National Cake Day. So, I normally she's here by now. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Sometimes she comes at two o'clock. I just I just didn't know if like you guys were open today or not. I just had something coming in. All right, all right. Thank you. Dad, what's wrong? <laughs> Buddy, Ella. What? <laughs> you can't go to college. What? Why? Is everything okay? I mean, yeah. I got a lot of awesome baseball cards. What? I sp like, I spent all your money on, like, awesome baseball cards. I can't go and to I college because you got a bunch of baseball cards? Well, yeah, but, they're, like, they're really, they're really cool ones. I'm gonna kill you. Well, you, you're holding the camera, so your brother's gonna have to kill me. <laughs> oh, buddy, man, you're not gonna like this. Why? I can't even keep you. I can't afford you at all. Awesome. Let's get the mail before your mom gets home. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think we're getting the mail day? No, I think today's a white mail day time. Where is it? Just carrying on top of it and fit in there. Want to hand them to me? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh man, I'm not very happy with all these cards. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Like there isn't here. Probably. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Ty. Let's go. Let's go open what? Hey, babe. How's it going? Uh, yeah. I just been working all day. Uh, you know how Mondays are. Oh, you're coming home early. Oh, really? Oh, what happened at work? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I, I'm trying. I've been trying to do laundry and dishes and things around the house. Um, it's just been really hard today because we've just had a lot of work meetings. Yeah, yeah. I'll try to make dinner before you get home. It's going to be really hard though. I have a meeting right now. I'm actually. I muted it so I could talk to you. Yeah. Okay. All right. No, I'm not doing anything right now. I'm just trying to make sure I'm keeping up with my emails. Okay. All right. Well, I'll see you in about five minutes. Thanks for, uh, thanks for calling. Yep. Love you too. Bye, babe. Mr. Husbanski, do you know why you are having this therapy session today? Yes, my wife sent me. She thinks I have a sports card addiction, but I do not have a sports card addiction. Well, you're searching for the internet for sports cards right now during your therapy session, aren't you? Tell me about your sports card addiction. Miss Wifeski, since I do not have a sports card addiction, and since I clearly do not need therapy, I figured I might as well spend this time searching the internet for sports cards. I'm simply multitasking. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, there you're making my point for me. 
What do you want me to do? Say, hello everyone, my name is Adam and I'm a cardaholic, I have a problem. Besides, cards do not even contain alcohol, so there is no way I can be a cardaholic. Haha, <laughs> got you on that one. By the way, I thought I was supposed to get a comfortable couch for therapy. Why this folding chair? We discovered our clients are more apt to admit their problems in a folding chair. Mr. Husbansky, addiction is a serious illness. People can be addicted to just about anything. For example, I have a client, let's just call him Al, who is addicted to moving trucks. Wow, I never heard of an al uholic before, get it? al uholic? Ha ha ha! One more inappropriate comment like that and I'll have you institutionalized. Okay, do they have the internet there? Mr. Husbansky, what is that around your neck? Oh, this? This is my Eddie Lopat necklace. The card was given to me by my good friends Matt and Tyrus from The Card Story. Are they card addicts too? Hmm, I never thought about that. Well, let's just say they have quite a hankering for cards. Ha <laughs> ha! I just nailed an inside joke. How so? Miss Wifeski, I nailed it with the hammer. Ha ha! Mr. Husbansky, what is in that box you have? Oh, this box right here? Yep. These are my security low pads. They help me cope with the challenges of life. I keep them on me at all times. You mean like an immature three-year-old with a security blanket? Miss Wifeski, there's no way you could possibly understand unless you're a collector. Give me a try. Show me one of your security low pads. Okay, you asked for it. Check this one out. Oh, the green, the glorious green. You are getting very low patty. You are getting very low patty. Now, when I snap my fingers, you will find me to be a perfectly well-adjusted adult with no need of additional therapy. What the heck, while I'm at it, you will also find my humor to be quite funny. And what the heck, while I'm at it, you will also find me to be quite attractive. Well, Mr. Hesbanski, I have completed your psychological evaluation and I find you to be a perfectly well-adjusted adult with no need of additional therapy. Great, are we done here? One more thing. I have this time slot open next week. I'm suddenly finding myself quite interested in collecting vintage baseball cards. I was wondering if we could meet next week so you could tell me more about how I can get started collecting. Sure, happy to help. Will you be wearing one of your low pat necklaces? Oh yeah, I always wear one. Good, because it really accentuates your broad shoulders. Why, thank you. Tell me that joke again about my client Owl with the moving truck addiction. Oh, you mean Al Uholic? Yep, that one, that is entirely too funny. My fellow collectors, I hope you had a fun and enjoyable time in the Vintage Card Therapy Session. Take care, my friends.